Australian federal court rules in favor of a sick against unlicensed coin crypto. Such a Sunder origin last updated May 3, 2024, 821 EDT, one minute read. An Australian federal court on Friday ruled in favor of the Australian Securities and Investments Commission a SIC regarding an unlicensed crypto platform that misled customers. The court noted that a gold cost crypto promoter, BPS Financial, allegedly broke the law by promoting unlicensed crypto wallet. The firm misled customers while offering the coin wallet, a non cash payment facility which used a crypto asset token called Coin. A SIC chair Joe Longo cautioned the highly volatile and risky behavior of crypto assets, emphasizing the importance of authorized licenses. It is critically important that providers have the appropriate licenses and authorizations and that investors are provided with clear and accurate information. Longo also stressed that a SIC has been constantly taking enforcement actions against unlicensed crypto businesses. Justice Downs noted that BPS breached the Corporations Act as it did not hold an Australian financial services license. He also found that the firm misled customers making false representations concerning Coin Wallet. A SIC accusation on the controversial coin cryptocurrency, Coin, launched in Australia in early 2020, promising multifold returns to those who invest in it. One of the claims made by the firm include projecting Coin Wallet as officially registered, which was not the case. Sooner, business owners expressed uncertainty over the future of the digital currency, concerns raised about possible misinformation, and an inability for some to cash out. Following this, Australia's corporate regulator launched court action alleging advertisements promoting Coin misled consumers by giving them the false impression. The adverts promised that investors could confidently exchange coin for other currencies and that there were merchants who accept it. Over 79,000 individuals and entities who bought coin may have believed that the product was compliant with financial services laws. However, in 2022, the ASIC alleged that it was not the case, lodging civil penalty proceedings in the federal court against BPS Financial. This is an important case for us because it is the first occasion really where we've taken court proceedings alleging that a crypto asset offering, so here the coin facility, is a financial product that is being offered, said ASIC Deputy Chair Sarah Court at the time. Follow us on Google News.